Hey folks, Lindsey Hudson with SPS back in the building for another one with my guy, Coach Brandon Baird of U Prep, University Prep that is. I call him the Giant Slayer because uh, no matter how many guys he got on the court, whatever he has going on, anybody top team, you better watch out, particularly these guys because this is almost a revenge rematch over here at Hamtramck. Oh, man. Coach Dennis Foster, you gave him the business last time you saw them guys, huh? Man, we got a little lucky. Uh, he's so humble. He's so, he was telling me like we had a tough one last night. I said, oh man, they won, you know? Um, <laughs> Tell me what it's like to get up every game and, and put your guys, even if you have an underman staff, you know, five guys, six guys, that is, and still get out here and compete. What is that like? I mean, that's just the nature of the beast, man. We we were, uh, we come from that underdog approach. Uh, I, I will not lie about that. Um, but I feel like that's been my my whole theme my whole life. I've been the underdog. So, of course, you know, I'm going to give my team that type of, uh, you know, feel, you know. So we come from the underdog approach, and we just try to get better every single moment <laughs> of every day. So whether we got practice or a game, it's the same process. Like, let's just get better. And we can't get better if we're not playing at our hardest. Yeah. Uh, and, and playing at adversity levels, it seems to be <laughs> – I mean, it just seems to follow me, man. I mean, right. I, we started off the season with uh, nine players, and I had two starters go down, and mm-hmm. I, we just lost the third one. So we relatively yeah. playing with six players, yeah. man. So it's just, uh, but I mean, hey, that's the grind of, of, yeah. of, of sports, really. Right. I know you got your uh, face in the books as it relates to studying tape and folks on these high school teams. <laughs> but you know what? Ironically, um, what you just said about getting better is what Coach Tom Izzo has been saying this past season, especially especially when they uh, kind of came from behind and beat all those top teams. He yeah. said, let's just keep getting better. So when you say that on a prep level, uh, no pun intended, you prep. When you say on a prep level, I can see how that can work because you're not getting caught up in the record. You're like, how can we improve and get better? And that's to serve you well getting ready for the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, because it's, 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 uh, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And especially when you got low uh, underclassmen. Mm-hmm. So I got underclassmen. And we're already at the bottom, so we can only go up. And coach, you know, uh, talk about the challenges that not only come with trying to win, but, you know, you can wake up one day, look in the paper or something, and find out you lost your job. Talk about the challenges of, you know, losing jobs uh, in this tough COVID season. And, of course, uh, nobody wants to lose their job, especially, you know, being a coach, I understand how hard we work and what goes into even just becoming not only a head coach, but just becoming a coach, period. But to be a head coach and be in command of a program, uh, uh, it is definitely a uh, up all night, up all day thing. Um, but it is a business. Um, and no matter the level, it's still a business. There, We get paid to coach. <laughs> so uh, those demands from administration, those demands from the community are still going to be in place. And however, uh, the challenges that we face, uh, I mean, we still have to deal with that. Everybody wants a winner. Um, and we do our best to win. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm always going to be on the coach's side because I'm a coach. So, right, right. Uh, nobody deserves to get fired, and we don't want to get fired, and we don't want to. We want to keep our jobs, but at the same time, high school, college, pro. Um, there are expectations that sometimes have to be met, and um, you know, you never know when that call, when that, <laughs> when you're going to get that call. You just hope not to get the call. I got one question for you. With that, uh, what does the word loyalty mean as it relates to coaching, and does it always apply? I, I, you know what? I believe so, and I'm gonna say this: whenever you have a coach that comes into a program and he builds it from day one, he builds it up, um, you have to respect that because if your program was not at the level that it was when he found it and he or she has produced and took it to another level, I believe that deserves some loyalty because where you were at in the beginning is not where you're at now. Mm -hmm. If that coach has come in Mm -hmm. and and sacrificed not only uh, himself but his family and it's it's a ton of sacrifice when you're a coach so um, you know I think loyalty should definitely be paid to the coaches who who do this job and who really sacrifice. Now there are different levels and we, I mean everybody understands that but 
when you're when you're in a position, especially if you're alumni or something, mm-hmm. man, or, mm-hmm. or and there's different situations mm-hmm. with every coaching job. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I just give credit to coaches who really just you know give it their all, and I would expect the same in, in administration to have their back. You don't always get a good season, mm-hmm. man, mm-hmm. and and in the high school level, you know, there's no recruiting, so right. you kind of sometimes just you you have the hand that you were dealt, right. the kids that you get. And, and what's your job? It's supposed to be to coach them up. So um, I think all the coaches, that's what they're trying to do. At no, at any level, we're trying to coach our kids up to become winners. So um, I would hope that the administration would, would value that, and that would definitely uh, impact some loyalty on, on, on both ends with coaches and, uh, and, and administration. Here's a tough one for anybody, I think, but I know you can handle it. That's that seven-mile lane. Um, should COVID um, give – Every coach a pass. Absolutely, because every coach has not had the time that we normally have. So we're 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 trying to cover up and and and, and make up ground where we lost. I mean. It's hard to implement everything you want to do, especially with a program. Mm-hmm. The coaches got freshmen, they got varsity, they got freshmen, they got JV. Um, and not only that, running the middle school team. So that's all incorporated with the head coach. Man, that's a lot. Right. And, of course, you want everything to be moving at the same time in sequence. So uh, with, with COVID and chopping our legs off, so to speak, it's been totally tough for every coach, and I, I definitely think every coach deserves a pass. And Great. players, Great. players too. Great question. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, so how do you get your players in this social media age and this generation of athletes that you and I always talk about? How do you get them to buy into that? Well, you know, I don't. I don't want to say so much buying into it. I just think that they understand that. This is how we're going to play, and this is the atmosphere that you're walking into when you when you're being coached by me. Right. Um, you know, I, I, I'm I'm not a glitz and glamour type of guy. Um, you know, I try to let our play do our talking. Right. I'm not going to say too much, and, and and I'm not a real br- uh, brag and boast kind of guy. So right. I just I just would rather let our play talk, let our mm-hmm. program speak for ourselves versus me saying a lot. I, you know, I just rather let our proof and what we show just just talk for. I bet it's a great feeling, though, that after you spend the summer with these guys, what little summer you had, if any at all, but then you turn around and uh, get these big victories against teams that uh, nobody expected you to win but except yourself. it got to be a real good feeling. What's that feeling like? Um, well, it's always a good feeling, man, when you can get some wins, especially when you don't think you can do it, mm-hmm. right? Um, and and, it's, and it's, it's special for the players to see. I, I always think that you can say a bunch of things and you can always demand a bunch of things, but when you when the players go through it, when they see the success for themselves, mm-hmm. that's the biggest victory because now they see that all their hard work pays off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might be down, but you're growing and you're getting better, and, and that is helping you win. And then when you win, then they see, oh, okay, I was doing this, I was at this, but now I'm here. And it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So Those are not only lessons for playing ball, but for life. So you got yeah. Ham Tramick here on their senior night, man. You trying to be a senior night spoiler? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> hey, I didn't even even know I didn't even know it was their senior night, man. Let's see, you see what I'm saying? It just doesn't get any easier. <laughs> so we just walked right into the Lions then with a highly motivated uh, Ham Tramic yeah, team, man. man. So you know we gonna get their best, man. But again, what an incredible opportunity to get better tonight. To walk into the Lions den on a motivated night yeah. uh, with with seven players and expect to come out with a win. I mean, the table couldn't be set better. <laughs> Anybody out here watching uh, recognize uh, the greatness in this young man. He's been like that from the start. Uh, he's doing great things with University Prep and impacting these lives. And I just want to give you your flowers now. I appreciate that? it. Thank you, man. Why well, let you go get ready to uh, mess with this lion? Uh, <laughs> oh, this lion's den, but nobody's more capable of doing that than you. And I appreciate you oh, and all that you my do. My man. Thank you. Right, appreciate right, so it. Be, uh, doing this thing. This is Lindsay Hill on SPS. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.